Good day. Welcome to another session of Fog Accountancy Tutorials. Today, we are going to continue our study on overhead analysis. And then we are going to look at a situation where the service departments perform reciprocal services. Now, when that happens, we need to continue sharing till both are exhausted. There are three methods that we use, or it could be four anyway. Methods for reapportionment of service departments under the reciprocal services. situation. So we have methods that we can use to do the reapportionment. Now the first one that I'm going to treat in this video is called repeated distribution method. So we have the repeated distribution method and then also we have the elimination method. We have the elimination method. And then we have the algebraic method. We do that mathematically. And then we can even have the matrices method. So these are four methods that we can use to do the reapportionment of service department in a situation where they perform reciprocal services. Now, we are going to begin with the repeated distribution method and then later we'll look at the elimination method. And then we'll see whether we'll look at these two as well. Now, let us begin with the re repeated distribution. Now, the repeated distribution method, I explained to you that those are method, that is a method where we'll continue to distribute till the balance is reset to zero. It is not going to be understood by abstract explanation. You're going to get it better when I solve a question. And so without wasting my time, I want to move straight away, take a question, and then solve it with you. OK. Aguna Limited has three production departments, X, Y, and Z. It, has, it also has two service departments, one and two. The following budgeted cost data is available for the department. Amounts directly allocated. So with production department, X is 100,000 Ghana cities, Y is 80,000, and then Z is 90,000. Amount to be apportioned, service department one is 20,000, service department two is 15,000. So do you know what has been done? He has already given you the totals, what I call the totals. It has already been given to you in this question. So what we are going to do is just a reapportionment. That's all, because we all know that we can do the apportionment and get a totals. So in this question, they have given you the totals for the three production departments and the totals for the two service departments. And then they are going to give you a table for reapportionment. Now, the reapportionment data they are going to give, the question will not tell you it's a, re a reciprocal service. You must know. Because if you have service department one benefiting from two and service department two benefiting from one, then it's a reciprocal service. So let's look at that. Required, apportion this department cost, taking the following into consideration. So we have production department S, X, Y, and Z, and service department one and two. So for service department one, you see that it is 40%, 20%, 30%, and then 10% for department two, service department two. What it means is that when we are reapportioning the total for service department one, department X gets 40% of the share, department Y gets 20%, Z gets 30%, and the service department two gets 10%, that is the meaning. And then for service department two, when we are reapportioning, production department X gets 30%, Y gets 25%, Z gets 25%, and then service department one gets 20%. So it means that when we are sharing one, two gets. When we are sharing the two, one gets. So that is what it's going to be. And we are going to use the repeated distribution method. And so I'm going to draw the table 
and then I'm going to, to solve it with you. All right. Okay, so let us solve the question. So we start with the overhead type, basis of apportionment. We have three production departments, X, Y, Z. And then we have two service departments, one and two. And then the total. So, so you look at how we go about it. We have the overhead type or overhead, and then we have basis of apportionment. And then over here, we'll say production department, X, Y, Z. And then we have um, service departments, one and two, and then total. So we call it overhead analysis sheets. Okay, so like I told you in this question, they gave us the totals already. And so we'll begin from total overheads. And the basis is direct allocation. Okay, so let me bring the currency signs. Oh. Okay, so the total for production department X is 100,000. The total for department Y is 80,000 and the total for production department Z is 90,000. And then we look at the service department. From the question, the total for service department one is 20,000 and then for two is 15,000. So we have to find the total overheads. That was not given in the question, so let's find the grand total on our own. Okay, so the total is 305,000. So we find that on our own. Now you see, up to this point, all of us can now get it. That is why we are no more doing the apportionment. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to do reapportionment. We'll start with service department one, then we'll do re department two. But remember that we are doing the repeated distribution method. We are, using the, the, we are using the repeated distribution method. And so what we are going to do, let's begin. Re-apportionment of service department one. Now, the ratio is the basis of apportionment. Now, when we are re-apportioning service department one, according to the question, is 40, 20, 30, and 10 for department two. So 40... 30 is to 20 is to 10. Sorry, it's 40 is to 20 is to 30 is to 10 rather. So 20 for Y, 30 for Z. And then the 10 belongs to department two. So even though we are sharing for department one, department two gets a share. So let's apply the ratio on this 20,000. So 40% 40 of 20,000. 40% 40 of 20,000 is 8,000. So that comes to department X, sorry, 8,000. And then 20% 20 of 20,000 is 4,000 for department Y. And for department Z, we find 30% of the same 20,000. That gives us 6,000. And then for department two, department two gets 10% of this 20,000, that is 2,000. So over here, we write the 20,000 in bracket, because that is what we are sharing. I'm sure this is very understandable because of the example we solved earlier. And then we do another one. So this time, we are coming to reapportion service department two. But like I told you, we need to find the total. The total is now 17,000. We are no more going to reapportion the 15,000. But we are rather reapportioning 15,000 plus the 2,000 that just came in. 
So that is 17,000. And then we are going to apply the ratio for the second one. But remember that this time there is a reciprocal service. So service department one, even though we are finished sharing, but they are still going to get the share of the two because they also benefit. That is what we mean. In the previous video, we didn't give the first service department again. We just shared the last to the two production departments. But in this video, even though we have done sharing the total of the first service department, when we are sharing for the second one, because the ratio allocates a portion to one, we still have to give it. So look at the ratio for sharing department two. 30, 25, 25, 20. 30 is to 25. Is to 25, is to 20. So that is reapportionment of service department two. And this is the basis. So we are going to reapportion 17,000. Remember, not 15,000. 15 plus 2 is 17. So 17,000. The first department is 30%. So 30 over 100 times 17,000 is what we are going to put here, which is going to be 5,100. When we get to Y, it's 25% of 17,000. And that is going to be 4,250. When we get to Z, the ratio is 25, so the same 4,250. Then when we get to one, because we are sharing two, one has a share. This is the repeated distribution. We'll continue repeating, so please take note. So that will be 20% of 17,000, and that is going to be 3,400. So when we get to two, we put the 17,000 in brackets, and then we are done with the sharing of service department two. Now, we should have been done by now. We should have been done, but we finished sharing. But remember that we, we said in a previous video that departments X and Y and Z, the production departments are the only ones that are supposed to get total cuts at the end. When we add the grand total, you see that service department one now still has some money, 3,004. So we need to reapportion that again. And when we are resharing it, two gets. So afterwards, we share it again, we share and we continue sharing till both of them reset to zero. That is what we call the repeated distribution method. Okay. So what we have to do now is we have to now reapportion this 3004 again. So we'll say reapportionment of service department one. So we use the same ratio. It's 40 is to 20 is to 30 is to 10. We know that already. So now 40% of 3,004 comes to department X. And that is 1,360. And then 20% of 3,004 comes to the department Y, which is 680. Then when we get to Z, it's 30 over 100. So 30% of 3,004 comes to department Z, which is 1,020. When we get here, we'll put nothing there, or we'll just put the 3,400 in bracket. Then the last one, 10% of this amount, 3,004, comes here. And that is 340. And so what we have done is that we have done a reapportionment again for service department one. And service department two got a share. So we don't have to leave it. We have to reapportion this 340 again. And then when one gets a share, we reapportion again. So they all reset to zero. That is what we call the repeated distribution method. And so let's see reapportionment of service department two again. Now it's 340. But we are reapportioning service department two, and that ratio is 30, 25, 25 is to 20. Remember, use the same ratios for where they are supposed to be used. So here we find 30% of 340. So 30% of 340 gives us 102. Okay? And then we find 25% of 340. 25% gives us 85. And then when we get to Z, the same 25% gives us 85. And then when we get to department one, department one gets 20% of that. And so 20% of 340 gives us 68. And then we put the 340 here. And then we are done. 340 should be in brackets. Okay, so now, we have to now reapportion this 68 because it's a service department again. So we'll now see reapportionment of service department one. 
and the ratio is 40 is to 20 is to 30 is to 10. So ladies and gentlemen, you continue reapportioning till it's all exhausted to zero. So now that we are coming to apportion this 68, the Batman X gets 40%. Now listen very carefully. In some questions, they will tell you to run it to the nearest whole number. Because from here, we are going to get decimals. And there are some of the questions that will even tell you to run it to the nearest 10, not just the whole number. In this question, I decided to ignore that. But from here, I'm going to run it to the nearest whole number. So please pardon or bear with me. So we are apportioning 68. We find 40% of that. We are going to have 27.2. But I'm leaving the 27. 27. So I'm running all to the nearest whole number. Then we have we find 20% of 68 for department Y. So, so that gives us 13.6. 13.6, so I'm going to make it 14 to the nearest whole number. And then department Z is 30%. So that is 20.4. 20.4, but I'm going to make it 20 to the nearest whole number. And then I put the 68 in bracket because that is what we are sharing. And then when I get to department 2, it is 10%. 10% will be 6.8, but I will make it 7 to the nearest whole number. And then... We are done. Then we'll move to, let me, over here, most of the time, when it falls below 10, we don't reapportion. When it usually falls below 10, we ignore. But let me just do the last line and see. So we are going to reapportion the seven again. So reapportionment of service department two. And that is 30 is to 25 is to 25 is to 20. So 30% of seven. Is 2.1, so I'll put 2 here. Then 25% of 7, that is 1.75. 25% of 7 is 1.75. So I put 2 here. The same 25%, 1.75, I put 2. And so it means that I'll have 1 for this side, and then 7 comes here. So we share, and that is all. In fact, if you want to share this one, it will be decimals. So this is where you can end it, and then you can find your totals. And so ladies and gentlemen, this will bring us to the end of our video on the repeated distribution method. I'm sure your understanding has really been enhanced. Now in our next video on overheads, we are going to look at the elimination and then possibly the algebraic method. Then also, it's important that I talk about overhead absorption, which is present, so I'm going to talk about that as well. I want to do that before I'll start with a job costing. So that is it for now. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new. Share this video and let others also have a benefit. Until we meet again for another video, it's bye for now.